Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo channel. Welcome to another sunny day in the beautiful state of California. Well, you can't see that because we're in the garage and today we're installing LED lights. These I got from Amazon. I don't know if you can see. Uh, rather interestingly named Zio LED lights that came highly recommended to me by somebody on the Instagram. His name is SoCal210 and he has a perfect example of a W210 E430 that he calls fake AMG and he has a beautiful E320 convertible W124 chassis so if you like those cars he's here in super condition he also has a YouTube channel so you can follow that as well but uh, I'll leave the Instagram right down here and the YouTube down below in the description these uh, Zio Happy Gay Headlights came from uh, Amazon and I'll leave a link to those down below as well as well as some tools that you may need like uh, little pry tools for the interior uh, that may be useful for you to uh, remove certain fixtures so what these come with are 15 pieces and they're written right down here with a little map of the car and uh, that should replace all the LEDs on the interior and trunk lights of the W210 chassis. So let's crack them open. All right, I'll try to do this one-handed. Of course, I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Here we go. We got that out of the way. Um, and I love this little diagram right here. Each and every light is mapped on this little map right here. And when, once we open them up, they come in tiny little boxes. Uh, six in total. Let's get them out. And we have little legend of what goes where right here the, the types of lights and they're indicated right here for example this is type O and if you correspond to the front map light type O I don't know if this is gonna focus but regardless all these are gonna go in there and there's 15 total of them uh, courtesy lights that should be four of them on four doors rear map vanity mirror glove box not a vanity mirror license two of them and trunk and that should cover them all now I have put the car in the garage so you guys can see like a little comparison before and after so this right here is the light there is a uh, reading light just right there I think that's on and there is a light back there so we're gonna start with these lights uh, I put the car in the garage so you can see what they look like in the dark kind of dark uh, but we're gonna see what they look like after we replace them so for the front dome light and the front map light which is this little thing right here we're gonna start with uh, front dome light are two type L uh, lights. We're gonna open them up in a second and one type O light. So let's see All right. They come in a little anti-static uh, Little pouches, which is great. So this is the map light Let's open the all type lights and these right here are the dome lights so there's two of them in this little package marked type l this uh, top light i already opened it up but it just pries out try not to pry on the light assembly itself because uh, you may take the whole thing out if you do want though there is a little tap right here you can pull it and that's gonna take the whole assembly out but for this you just pry on these little lights this little tap let go and one, two, three, uh, in those locations. I tried from the corner, worked out just fine for me. And now we're gonna replace this little light for the LED. 
taking this one out it's very simple care focus if the car was hot I press the button so I shut it off when the light is um, when the door is open so now we're gonna open these two you can see them Now, one thing you should pay attention to, these little LED lights, diodes, should be uh, pointing down because that's where the light comes from. So I'm just gonna put this right here, pops in just like so. Now, you don't have to pull this whole thing out, as I said earlier. To replace the little map light, you just have to pull this white plug and that little bulb comes out, you can put the LED in and again make sure that you point it down so it's gonna look just like this all right we're gonna button this back on it's very simple to take it off you just need to pull on these two tabs and just come right straight down so one curious issue I encountered with these little uh, dome lights dome little light bulbs uh, first let me show you just squeeze these a little bit tighter because these are slightly slightly smaller so do the make the pins a little lighter so they're tighter in there now one curious thing is if these lights don't work once you press the buttons you just have to rotate the light 180 degrees because I guess they are directional and that's how they work so first three lights are in let's get to the rest of the lights so according to the diagram the rear dome lights should be two of them and they are again the type L bulbs I'm gonna unwrap these it's very easy to take this off just put a screwdriver down this hole push and it comes right out now we're gonna disconnect these two lights from the light bulb and it's easier for us to replace them right there once you have it out, probably don't have to take it out, but it's easier if it's out and I'm doing this with one hand. So you just take this out and we can see that we only have one of these lights. So we're going to put one of the L lights in. I guess we're going to have one for spare. The old light bulb is out, the new light bulb is in. Make sure the LEDs don't point up and point down just like it is now these are chips and the LEDs are on the bottom so we're just gonna close this one hand we're gonna reconnect it hopefully I'm able to do it with one hand all right I'll reconnect it with two there we go we're gonna test it out nice and bright again if this doesn't light up from the first time just revert the light to 180 degrees the lights not broken it just it works only one of the two ways next we have one light in the glove box and it's supposed to be M so we're gonna open this M lights right here which are also going to be for our license plate well, I have different lights for the license plate but for the glove box uh, let's see how this is gonna work out uh, just make sure when you pry pry uh the plastic gently because that's 20 something years 24 year old plastic and uh you don't want to break it all right for the light inside the glove box uh, make sure you start from the right hand side because otherwise you're gonna break it like i did mine i, I cracked it a little bit on the left but uh just so you know the right hand side comes down and there it is I already put the LED bulb so I have a good way to uh, see how this works put the key into position one and you can see that the light lights up it didn't at the first because it was um, it was turned around as I said 180 degrees and it's nice of my wife she brought me some snacks so now I can eat and do lights and these are nice so i can see what i'm doing but still we'll turn them off right the next light we'll be doing is the trunk light uh, and the license plate lamps so we're going to start with the trunk according to the uh, diagram it's a type l light so we're going to use a type l light to replace this 
work just fine just make sure if it doesn't work one of the sides just uh, put it in the other one uh, the light bulb I mean uh, to pry these out just pick one of the sides pry it out you should be comfortable with bending the little uh, prongs, prongs that hold the light bulb because uh, the light bulb that came out of there was a little bit bigger than the one that came in but regardless uh, if you bend them in a little bit just to accommodate it so it doesn't rotate uh, you'll be just fine license plate uh, lights are marked as type N but you gotta remove these three screws from this little molding to get to them and then you just have to pry them out all right we have a little update to remove these you actually have to remove the whole trunk liner with all these little tabs I uh, broke mine by prying it out uh, but luckily for me I do have replacement ones uh, that came from Amazon again uh, I'll link I'll leave the link to those as well and these are uh, LED lights they come in this tiny little box made in China of course uh, but I'm gonna be replacing these with these clear ones and the Zio LED bulbs are great uh, but these have a lot more LEDs on them and gonna be a lot brighter so let's replace them with these before I put them back in and mess them up I'm just gonna test them and see if they work yes they do now that we know that these actually work them back in and you can see the difference between the new and the old and now we're gonna take the other old one out and put another new LED light bulb in there once the lights are back in we can secure the molding and tighten the three screws license plate lights done so most of you will be okay with this but I just feel like I need to say this uh, do not remove your uh, license plate lights the way I did if you install just the light bulb kit because you're gonna break them and I had new uh, license plate lights already purchased so I installed them if you do yours uh, disclaimer remove the liner on the trunk and then uh, replace them that way have to come out outside for these puddle lights because there's no too much space in the garage these are simple to pull out you just have to find something to put your knees on so you don't hurt them again with these if it doesn't work rotate the light 180 degree just stick a screwdriver pry it out it works just fine I did this one I did the other two doors on the inside nice uh, and uh, I'm gonna do the last door in the back then I'm gonna check the vanity lights and uh, we'll call this a day just a little note the back door for the lights they don't pull all the way out so I didn't want to damage it so I replaced it while it was on uh, these don't have enough voltage to do you any harm so they're good all right and so this is gonna conclude our LED conversion for uh, good old diesel you can see the puddle lights are converted the interior lights I converted also the vanity lights are all LED and of course the LED license plate light and the trunk light overall really happy with the quality of the products from the Zeo lights as well as the other license plate lights so if you guys like them you can find them linked down below and if you like these videos hit the thumbs up because it helps the channel and subscribe for a lot more videos to come in the next video we will be oh let's see the leds again 
we will, in the next video we will be installing some tail lights as well as putting paint protection film on our new uh, headlights the one that we installed in the previous one of the previous videos uh, again hit the thumbs up see you in the next video bye